So for this example, we're going to need to look at the different regions that are mentioned here. And all of these are given to you as cardinalities of different regions. And so you're going to have to do a little bit of um, backtracking and kind of look at these overlapping regions and kind of fill out the missing pieces of the puzzle that way. So first they tell us that the cardinality of A is 15, which means that all of the regions in circle A must add up to 15. So we can come back to that total later once we fill in the missing pieces inside of circle A. The next piece of information tells us that the cardinality of A intersected B intersected with C is 4. So first go left to right and we're looking at the intersection of circle A and circle B. Well circle A and circle B intersect in two regions here and here. And then we want to carry that intersection over and intersect that with circle C. Well, out of these two regions here, the only one that also is included in C is this one right here in the very middle. So the cardinality of that particular piece is 4. So that one I can actually fill in directly with a 4. The next piece of information says the cardinality of A intersected with C equals 11. So circle A and circle C intersect in two regions. And these two regions must have a sum of 11. And right now I have one of the pieces is 4. So 11 minus 4 is 7. Therefore I know that that piece there is 7. Next we have the cardinality of A intersected with B complement is 9. So we're looking at circle A and finding its intersection with the complement of B. The complement of B is all regions outside of circle B. So I want to find all regions outside of circle B that are also in A. That's going to give this intersection. So that's going to give me this region here and this region here as the two regions that are in A that are not in B. Now that cardinality is 9, which means that those two regions must have a sum of 9. And since I have 7 in the one region, I know this other region here is 2. Now I can go back to the very first piece of information I was provided, which says that the cardinality of A is 15. Right now I know that I have 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 2 is 13. So then this missing region in A must be 2 so that all of the regions in A add up to a cardinality of 15. Okay, so as we move forward, we see that the cardinality of A complement intersected with B complement intersected with C complement is equal to 23. So go left to right. First, identify the intersection of A complement and B complement. So A complement is everything outside of A, which would be these regions. B complement is everything outside of B. So if I look at everything outside of circle B, and I want to intersect that with something that I've already shaded, that's going to leave me with this piece here and this area here. So that's going to be the intersection of the complement of A with the complement of B. Basically, everything outside of circle A and circle B. Now, carry that through to the intersection with C complement. So now, I don't want to have anything in C. So I'm going to take off this region here, and I'm just left with this region right here. So the cardinality of that region is 23. So since there is no overlap, I know that that's going to be 23. Now we have the cardinality of B intersected with C complement is equal to 5. So we want to find the overlap of circle B with the complement of C. Where do they overlap? 
Well, C complement is everything outside of circle C, but I want to locate outside of circle C, but also in B. So then that's going to be two regions in B that are not in C. One of those regions has a cardinality of two, and I'm told that the cardinality of both is five. So this region out here must be three. Lastly, the cardinality of B, union C, is 33. So all of B and all of C must add up to 33 together. Okay, and then before we answer this part, let's go back to one that I looked over. This is where this is a little difficult here because um, there was one more missing piece to the puzzle and it was this one where the cardinality of B intersected with C is equal to 9. So B, circle B and C intersect in two regions. One of them I know is 4 and now I know their cardinality is 9 so then this piece here is 5. And so this last piece now makes sense because the cardinality of B union C is 33 so B and C, basically I want to take 33 and subtract all of these pieces inside from that total and that's going to give me the missing piece in C. So if I look at the different regions, the cardinalities, I have 3 and 2 is 5, plus 5 is 10, so I have 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So if I take the total of those cardinalities, 21, and subtract that from 33, I get 12 as the missing piece there. So that the cardinality of the union, when I add up all of B and all of C, will be 33 now. So that's how you would approach a problem like this when they give you the cardinalities of the different regions. It's really just piece by piece. You have to really understand visually what an intersection and a complement and a union are going to be with a Venn diagram to do this.